Hello and welcome back to the Unboxers and today we have for you two new figures from DC Direct. Yes, so these are actually by McFarlane Toys. They have the license now for DC Direct which previously was the collectibles arm of DC Comics. And we have two versions of the of Valzad the Earth 2 Superman. So we have the standard edition here and then the McFarlane Platinum Edition that comes with the armor. Oh, awesome. So we'd like to say a great big thank you to... McFarlane Toys. For sending these to us for free to share with you today. So I believe you might have seen these previously in a unboxing video. Yes. Of a haul that we got. Yes. Yeah, and these are both, like if you look at the comic book that comes with it, this is the Ghost of Krypton storyline, so... They both come with the same comic, correct? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so now we'll be able to open them and show them in much more detail. So let's go ahead and get these two Earth 2 Superman out of their boxes and give you a much closer look. We'll be right back. All right, so there's... Bowzod, the Earth 2 Superman. Out of the box. So I guess we'll take a look at the regular version first. Okay. Um, and let's go ahead and show off the collector card. I'm assuming the collector card and the bases are both going to be the same. Yeah, I believe the comic, the bases, and the collectors are the same on both. On, all, on, on both of those. All right, so there you have the card, which was the artwork on the back, I believe, of the box is how they usually do it. And then his little bio right there, data file. Really, really cool. Um, and look, at right there it says page punchers. Oh, there you go. So there you go. This is part of the Page Punchers line. Um, it says so on the card. I love the blue. It's really cool. Um, and then they have the black base with the one peg in there with the DC embossed on there. Um, with the Like would come with the regular figures. And um, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. Well, let me, let me have you look at the comic first. I'll have John show off a, a little bit of the comic and the pages in there before we look at the figure. Okay, so there's a look at the cover. Um, of course, it just has the DC logo on the back. Um, and you know, they're going to know that this is like a special edition because it doesn't have the any of the, the UPC, UPC or yeah. anything on the uh, on the cover like the standard comics would. But there's, uh, there's Superman, so stay tuned. We do have um, the armored version of Superman from this same line to show off later. Um, but yeah, there's, there's some really full color. Really, yeah, really I mean, there's really great artwork. There's some mm -hmm. Brainiac, um, Brainiac robots scenes. that um, you'll pro possibly be seeing a figure for in an upcoming video. But anyways, just um, really so yeah, cool. I mean, it, yeah, it's really, uh, really awesome. There's some, you know, some ads and stuff for. Ooh, there's some different figures available from Page Punchers, but, um, yeah, really awesome. That they include that with it. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. So we might need to move those out of the way a little bit so we can, so the camera will focus. Just, I'm just meet the, uh, and there's his facial sculpt. Very cool boy. He's got the angry eyebrows and, um, the dark lips. He is angry, and he's got the the hand, the anger hand, <laughs> um, and the S with the uh, which is in white with the red uh, um, undertone, which is cool. Um, I like the blue in his suit too. That's just kind of a a neat looking suit for a Superman. Yeah. Um, and then you can see all of the intricate little details. Yeah, these are really, I mean, the texturing and the details um, in the armor that they're wearing on both figures is just really intricate. And um, then he's got the little white things painted on his hands. Um, but what you, what you are probably seeing is his cloth cape. Yes, I love the fact that he has a cloth cape. That is so awesome. Look at that. So it's all um, slick on that side, and then it has a little bit of a texture on the underside. That is really cool. And is attached up here, um, just below his neck here. And then he's got the white in the belt as well. Um, and then the white down here. Um, so And since the cape is white, it all kind of works together, and there's his feet and or his shoes so he is looking pretty cool so i don't know if you want to show off this 
This one's articulation, yeah, so sure it doesn't have all the armor. So easier to, to be able to see the points of articulation on this one. So we will take a look here. So these are going to be like the, the the regular McFarlane's like from the DC Multiverse, um, with the 22 moving parts. So they're going to be really well articulated. So he has a point at the base of the head, so he can look uh, side to side. He can look up some, look down. Uh, he has the double butterfly shoulders, so it will um, give him increased range of motion in the shoulder. So in addition to being to like normal where it would rotate and extend, it's also going to give him more, like he'll be able to go back and forward more. Uh, he has the bicep swivel, the double elbows, and then the dual wrists, so they will rotate and then pivot depending on how you um, position the point of articulation it'll pivot in different directions he has two points in the torso one at the waist and then another mid torso which will allow him you know better uh, reaching and and twisting poses he has articulation at the hips so it will go forward as backward and backwards as well as um, to the side he has the double knees and then the ankles will rotate, uh, pivot, uh, well, yeah, and pivot. So that'll be good. And then he has, of course, like the most of the McFarlands has the toe articulation. So very cool, really well articulated figure and cool version of Superman to add to the collection. All right, now let's take a look at the armored version. So, um, let's see, I might get John's help here with all this spikiness going on. Look at hit, look at that. Look yeah, at the armor around his face. Just so that you are aware, because, you know, the, you, um, if you don't want to collect both of them, you do have the standard, and then this one, like, all of the... I'll let you show it off. All of the, um, all of the armor that he has on comes off. Oh, whoa. So it's cool. actually going to, you know, if you remove all the armor, it's, it's going to be the same. Um, Except for his hands. His hands are closed. Yes. Fists yeah, he does blue. have, like, blue yeah. closed fists on these. So it does have different hand sculpts on these. Um, so it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. But all this, this really cool part is he looks so cool with the armor, but all of this does um, come off. So that way you can have him armored, semi-armored, fully armored, however you want to to do it all right you, you can just point out the, the parts of armor on there yeah i mean these look i mean it's kind of cool i uh i had to do a little bit of research because i'm like why what why would superman need armor um but they're actually inside the the battling inside the phantom zone if you wrote if you've read the ghost of krypton storyline so that's why they, they don't have their normal powers so that's why they have these armor so you have like these Big, like, crazy gauntlets with the claws here and then like an axe yeah on the side here and, the and again all of the yeah the detailing in here is just amazing um and then the chest plate with the the shoulder pieces and they will move so that way it won't hinder his uh range of motion at all then you have this piece around his waist um that just kind of kind of uh, attaches around his waist and um, to protect that and then of course the I guess these like uh, knee and shin guards um, but if you see like they have a piece in the back oh, that's cool. so they can come off as well um, but again so much detail in these um, and just looks really deadly <laughs> when it comes to fighting all you know, these like spikes now luckily these are if you look they're they're soft so um, it's not gonna hurt you or anything if you're if you step on it or or when you're handling the figure but it just it definitely looks dangerous when you're when you're uh posing it and everything but um both of these figures look really awesome and great to add these to our uh, page punchers collection all right so there's one last look at the earth 2 superman Superman's. Superman, <laughs> yes. So we want to say another great big thank you to McFarland Toys for sending these to us for free to share with you today. Thanks so much for watching. As always, come back and see us. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. <laughs>